Hi, you're at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. We got lots of water around here, so this might be the perfect vehicle to have down here in the uh, uh, Daytona area. And it's also a vehicle that I know absolutely nothing about. So we're going to go around it and show you all the uh, uh, amenities that we can. And if there are, are any deficiencies, we're going to point those out to you also. So, gap on the hood. I guess this is also the front of the car, but it's also the bow, since it's technically a boat and a car. It serves both purposes. Uh, one of these is to open the, uh, the hatch on it, hood, and the other one is for light, for light that uh, you have to have for maritime purposes. And there's also a light here. Uh, also a horn that has to be uh, uh, out in the open for maritime purposes. Does have headlights, does have uh, parking lights on it, front bumper. Uh, it's really aerodynamically or hydraulically efficient, however you want to look at it. Does have a hook in the front that you can pull it up onto a trailer if need be for one reason or another. The paint on the car is a driver quality finish. It's really nice. It's a creamy white color. Uh, it's not snow white, but it's not a dark white. It's, a, it's like a cream white. It's very, very attractive. A nice gap the whole way around the uh, bow area of this vehicle, the hood. And uh, again, the paint finish is very, very nice on the car. Chrome on the bumper, there are a couple of little spots here. And also on this side here, a little bit of rust uh, through the chrome, through the ears, but uh, certainly nothing that would dictate that you would uh, uh, replace that front bumper. Um, trim on the front. Little dinghy here, can't really see it, but you can feel it. Yeah, there is a ding here. Probably pulling it up onto uh, another ding here in the paint. Paint's not broken, it's just a ding. You can't really see it, but when I run my hand over it, I can feel it. Uh, nice front end of this car, it, it boat. It um, has a nice finish on it. Everything lines up as it should. Uh, the chrome is very, very... Uh, uh, good condition for the year with a couple of little tiny marks on each side and other than that it, it's just a nice rig trim around the uh, headlights I believe is stainless steel and uh, it's in excellent condition the same as the trim around the uh, uh, parking lights they're also in excellent condition there's no patina so they must be stainless because it is a car boat um, this the same way I'm going to call this anodized aluminum though uh, it does have a seal on it, and this is uh, a, a trunk area, a storage area, and if you open it, it's full of life jackets and uh, uh, all the uh, a lighting system that would go along with this vehicle for maritime purposes. So let's go around the rest of it. Okay, driver's side, uh, and for car. Of course, it is a boat, so it does have to have uh, your maritime identification on it also. Uh, this is a vent for air to come in and evacuate all the fumes that would be in the bilge area of the uh, uh, boat car. Side molding on it is really nice. There's no, no dents or marks in it whatsoever. This is stainless too, by the way. Uh, trim around the window is just a very well sealed in window. You can see that everything is sealed to the nth degree here. Uh, stainless steel arms and blades on this thing, polished stainless. Top of the dashboard is padded and it's not deteriorated in any way, absolutely none. Clean as can be the whole way up to the uh, uh, base of the windshield. You know, it's really amazing. There's some really nice gaps on this car boat. Uh, trim around the uh, wing area as nice as you'd ever hope to find. Convertible top, obviously. Uh, this top does go down. Um, it's an older top, it's not a new top, but it, uh, it's in excellent condition. I don't see any marks at all on this side. Uh, it's in great condition. Windows, uh, the window fitment is just as nice as you'd ever hope to find on a Camaro or a uh, Cuda or anything else. Seals around the windows the same way, your window wipes. So a lot of this, uh, you know, is applicable to a car, I guess, and a boat, because it is, it is both. Uh, again, look at the door fitment. This is really great. The gap, the no patina whatsoever, and a little tiny bit, little tiny bit on the 
uh, top of the handle there, but uh, nothing to really concern yourself with. Uh, this is all sealed up underneath. There's no lips on the fenders. Everything is sealed, and we'll see under our undercarriage uh, uh, video presentation. I did happen to see underneath this car before we, uh, we got it cleaned up. Trim down the side. Absolutely no marks whatsoever. Real finite piece of trim on the top of the uh, uh, fin on the uh, quarter panel. Really a nice looking fin. Kind of looks like a 61 uh, Ford Galaxy, <laughs> the fin style on it. Again, the paint on the car is really nice. The fit, the finish is really, really nice. The door, you, <laughs> it cannot, absolutely cannot fit any better than it does. Uh, it's got a set of, uh, well, they're orange colored uh, to contrast the uh, uh, white, creamy white paint, but it does have an orange and white interior also in it, so it really accentuates that with the orange wheels on it. They're a 13 inch wheel with the uh, period correct style wide white wall tires on it. They've only produced these cars for a few years, so they were a pretty limited production vehicle. Uh, Fantastic looking driver's side. I really don't see anything negative on it. Classic rear window, of course. The well itself is uh, uh, in excellent condition also. Let's go around the back stern of the vehicle and see what we can show you there. Okay, our rear or stern of uh, this particular vehicle. You see the vents in the back here. This is where the uh, uh, engine is housed in this vehicle. Just where it would be in a uh, boat or a lot of cars in the rear too. Compare it to a Porsche if you want, I guess, a rear engine car. Um, this is a hookup again for your, your light, maritime light. And a gap on the uh, deck or hatch. Uh, nice fitment, very, very nice fitment. Trim around the uh, tail lights, just as nice as you'd want to find. There's no patina, no deterioration. Nice clear lenses, really nice lenses on this thing. Uh, again, the trim around the uh, backup lights. It's got backup lights, you believe that? Um, as nice as you'd ever hope to find. The rear section, I don't feel anything bad on it at all, absolutely none. Uh, this trim that actually continues on from this uh, with the rubber bumper type in it, keep you causing, keep from causing damage when you're docked. Uh, I'm sure that that's why they put this rubber molding the whole way around, as it would be in a regular boat. It has a set of hooks in the back bumper. Uh, certainly not for water skiing, but they're there. Bilge pump, the stainless steel outlet for the water for the bilge pump. Nice back end of this car. I don't see anything that's out of place at all. Absolutely nothing. Uh, it's great condition. Of course, you have two props in the back, dual propulsion system on it, and it has two props motivating it. Uh, it's a nice car. It's a really nice looking uh, uh, representation of a uh, Amphi car. Okay, while well, we're back here, we might as well show you the uh, uh, engine bay of this. So, with the rear hatch open, uh, there's a radiator that pretty much covers everything. It's uh, angled like on a Corvette uh, uh, for airflow characteristics of it. Uh, it does have a single draft carburetor that uh, uh, they used on this. It's a four-cylinder engine. It's a little tiny four-cylinder guy here. Um, conventional ignition system on it, a starter right up on top here that you can uh, uh, get to easily. No, wait, that's a generator. That's a generator. The starter's right there, and it's just as easy to get to also. New battery in it with the disconnect, just like you'd have in a, uh, a boat. Um, the engine compartment is absolutely spotlessly clean, which you'll see in a second here. Uh, uh, Devin will show you the uh, uh, interior of this. The um, pipe exhaust system that's on this thing obviously is uh, it's just a cast iron manifold that comes off with a single pipe into a nice quiet muffler <coughs> and a stainless steel exhaust tip out the uh, rear of the uh, boat, car, whatever. All your vehicle ID numbers and information is on this plate, which is the original plate affixed to the uh, main chassis of the vehicle. You can see the, the degree of uh, uh, cleanliness there is in this engine, also a number tag on the engine. Uh, really a nice representation of an Amphi car. I don't see anything in this car at all that uh, doesn't speak a lot of originality. Uh, it, it really 
it's in excellent condition. I mean, I can't imagine finding a nicer one condition-wise than this. One more side to go. Okay, last side of our little alpha car here. Again, I love these fins. Uh, really a nice accent to this vehicle. And again, the trim on top of it, look how nice it is. There's absolutely no dents on it. A couple of little tiny, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, marks. Uh, but no dents, uh, really no deterioration whatsoever to it. And this is one piece of trim, wow, where is it? Now, stops here, this piece, and then this continues on. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, again, our, uh, our mooring strips here, or body side molding, depends on what you want to call it. The rear window is plastic, but it's also nice and crystal clear. You cannot get a nicer, clearer glass than the back of this vehicle. Again, the top's not new, but it, it's in very good condition. One little tiny tear here, about one inch long. Uh, certainly no reason that you would ever replace it. Oh, it's not. Actually, if we put a button back in this thing, which we can do, a snap, then the tear won't be there anymore. So we'll have to run it up to Dale and put a snap on there for you. Uh, if we can. Uh, hopefully we can. Uh, again, the window wipes, whiskers, as nice as could be. Look at the door fitment. Are you kidding me? Door fitment on a boat. This has got to be a first. Window, the way it seals up, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. Uh, a little, same as the other one, a little tiny but bit of patina on the top of the uh, chrome door handle. I don't feel any dents at all in this car. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, there is a little, little tiny one here, a dent that I can take out. Uh, you can hardly see it, but you can feel it. That's the reason I run my hands over these things, because a lot of times you can't see it, but you can feel it. Look at the fitment of this thing. It's amazing. Again, our maritime. Boat registration number there. Good through 18. So you know it was on the water at some point within the last year. There's nothing. <clears throat> Paint's very, very nice on this. Other than a couple little tiny marks on it, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a really great vehicle. It, I don't know much about it. I know that they have like 43 horsepower. They're capable of hitting about 75 mile an hour out in the highway. I don't know what it will do in the water. I wouldn't plan on pulling too many skiers behind it. But um, it's a really, really nice, unique uh, piece of automotive history here. It's got a huge trunk in it. It's full of life jackets and all the other uh, um, stuff for boating right now. But it uh, has a lot of storage area. If you were to use this as just a car, you could take your jackets and everything out. You'd have a lot of storage space. It's capable of carrying four grown individual at least comfortably. It's a nice looking car. It's a really nice looking car. It has a dog dish hubcaps, trim rings on the outside, wide white wall tires, cream paint. Uh, just a great looking uh, piece of equipment here. It uh, has a couple little things that I pointed out that we could see. This is the first I've actually even looked at this car. But uh, it, it, it's a unique piece of equipment. Uh, you're not going to find them everywhere. They only made them for a short period of time. And uh, they were expensive to buy at the time, and they're even more expensive to buy in today's world. But it's a great investment, investment in uh, automotive history. This thing has a, a lot of uh, character to it. You know, with the fins era correct, the color combinations that, that you have here, it's just a, it's just a great vehicle that uh, uh, you can have a lot of fun with. It so, serves a, a dual purpose. It uh, uh, can be a boat or it can be a car. You can use it for whatever you want. Uh, it's available here at Hangsters, and we encourage everybody to come down and take a look at it. No, I'm not going to put it in the water, and uh, that's going to take a whole day for us to do that, so it's not something we can actually do for you. But you can see that it did at one point within the last year function as a boat. So um, it's a nice car. Take a look at it. It's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, this is the interior of our Amphicar, the only one we have, and I don't think you'll find too many on the market for sale right now. Um, really great interior. It has a lot of originality to it. A lot of it. Uh, the dash pad, like I said, is just as nice as can be. It's really, uh, 
Uh, good looking dash, glove box, uh, still has all your registration stuff in it. Uh, the key for locking the uh, bow, bonnet, and the uh, stern uh, deck. Uh, steering wheel has uh, three little tiny cracks. I can't even get my fingernail in them, but you can see them. One here, one here, and one here. Just from shrinkage through the years. It's certainly nothing that you would replace. Uh, all the um, knobs and everything on the dashboard are correct and original to the vehicle. Has a speedometer, has a clock, has an hour meter because it is a boat too, you got to remember. So there is an hour meter present here. It has a um, fuel gauge, has a couple of idiot lights in it, has a Motorola original equipment radio in it. This thing has to be worth a fortune, just the radio itself. No one's made any attempt to replace it through the years with something updated, some CD player or something, but this one is the original radio that came in this. Nice, uh, small rear view mirror in it when the top's down of course you know you can, I guess you can run it either way top down or top up uh, whenever you're using it as a boat or a car um, interior of this thing is just as nice as you'd ever want to find it does have carpeting on the floor has some rubber matting on the wheel wells in the front there are no seat belts in this vehicle absolutely none <clears throat> I'm sure they never came with it they didn't even know what a seat belt was back then it uh, has a really nice interior. You could not find a nicer, cleaner, sharper interior than this car has. Door panels are as new. It has nice big pockets on each uh, door that you can store whatever you want, your cell phone or uh, keys, whatever you need. Uh, it's a nice vehicle. Everything in this thing is just as clean and sharp. The trim around the uh, gauge cluster itself, all the chrome is nice as can be. Uh, gauges themselves have glass lenses on them, and I'm sure that they are uh, watertight. Uh, it has a, um, what the heck is it? This is a light. This is a light, I believe. Uh, or an ashtray. I don't even know what it is. Something here. Um, <clears throat> the door jams, everything on this car is just the way it should be. It's as nice and clean as you, it, it just represents itself as a new vehicle. Uh, sun visors are the original ones and they're still nice and resilient, nice and puffy. Uh, no cracks or any deterioration or anything on the edges of it. This is a very, very nice vehicle. Gives a lot of uh, character just sitting in here looking over it with all the chrome on the uh, gauges and the radio. and uh, um, it, It's really a fantastic vehicle. You really need to take a look at this thing. It's the Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, horn. <laughs> Okay, the horn definitely works. Uh, speedometer, clock, clock is not working. Uh, not that I can see anyway. Uh, a couple of idiot lights, gas gauges functioning as it should. There's a tachometer, it is working as it should. Uh, fire extinguisher underneath there. It's something you definitely have to have for a boat. Let's try the radio, see if it works. Are you kidding me? Look, an old time Motorola radio is still working. Amazing, totally amazing. All right, let's see. Wipers. Something here has to wipe. That's not wipers. That's not wipers. Try this one. That's not wipers. That's a lighter. That's a wiper. So the wipers are working. Turn signals. Uh, Alright, we have any indicator lights? Uh, we have no indicator lights for turn signals. Apparently they didn't incorporate those into the design of the vehicle because there were no indications of turn signal lighting uh, on the dash. Uh, let's go for a ride. See how this thing runs. I can drive this thing every day. Look at this. Is that a red straight as an arrow? Totally amazing. Look at this. Totally amazing. Let's try brakes in the hands. See how they work. I gotta aim it right first. Okay, brakes no hands. Almost stopped. Doesn't pull at all. Absolutely not. Oop. Gotta find gears here. We got a blistering 43 horsepower here. I think it's about the same as that Volkswagen uh, truck that we just did, Devin. I think it had 45 or 43, something like that. OK, 
the turn signal does work, see? We just couldn't see it because of the sunlight where we had it, left and right. It uses the same bulb as an indicator, but it does work. The speedometer is working. You can see we're going 45, 50 miles an hour. It's a 35 mile an hour zone anyway, but... short there's really not too much to show you here uh, this is the undercarriage hull of our uh, Amphicar boat uh, it has a front suspension in it does have wheels and tires on it uh, drum brakes all around which appear to be sealed everywhere it has a flat bottom the whole way across uh, obviously the bottom of the hull undercarriage uh, is just completely flat there's nothing in there absolutely nothing everything is out inside all your brake lines, everything are inside the uh, hull interior of the uh, structure. Uh, it has two props. These are nylon props, not bronze. They are nylon, so they do have a little bit of flex to them. If you uh, happen to hit a rock or you know a branch or whatever, it's not going to uh, uh, distort the uh, the uh, uh, prop. Uh, sealed drums in the back. It has a drain for the bilge also for the oil too because when you drain the oil from the car it's going to have to come out the bilge. Uh, there's not too much to show you under here. The entirety of this vehicle is completely sealed. You can see everything is nice and smooth just the way it was when it was produced new. The tires are all in great condition. Uh, the vehicle is just as uh, nice underneath as it is everywhere else. It's a really great vehicle. Obviously there's no rust or anything uh, uh, evident anywhere. Fantastic uh, car underneath it does have a suspension it does have a transaxle assembly in the back it, it does uh, motivate the car part of it um, on land but it also has a gearbox that runs the two props uh, for the boat function of it so that's our Amphicar